a directive because when Her Excellency speaks, everybody listens. You mm. learn that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and so, via the orders of Her, um, Her Excellency Ambassador Karen Mayhill, <coughs> we have an initiative that is being introduced into Antigua this year. It's the Commonwealth International Composition Prize. Got it correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm just going to read a little blurb and then I will introduce our panel. The High Commission is pleased to share that Alison Cox, OBE, Founder and Chair of Trustees of the Commonwealth Accredited Organization, the Commonwealth Resounds, and Head, and head of Composition at the Purcell School for Young Musicians will be in Antigua from the 1st to the 8th of January 2019 to launch the Commonwealth International Composition Prize. The Commonwealth Resounds is working with the, an, the Associated Board of the Royal Schools of Music, the ABRSM, and the Antigua and Barbuda Youth Symphony Orchestra to pilot this award in four countries, namely Antigua and Barbuda, Rwanda, Sri Lanka, and New Zealand. These four countries will be asked to create a first-rate composition training program for young people of school or college age, which will be promoted and celebrated on an international website and in the Commonwealth Cultural Circles. Alison will meet, meet sorry, with music teachers and students to share with them features of this program and how they can become involved. So ladies and gentlemen, that is what we are rushing into this afternoon, the very important cultural initiative that will impact on our youth. And so without further ado, let me introduce my esteemed panel. I know one very well, Ish. I know one from a distance, Ish. <laughs> I've seen her work. And of course, let me begin with Miss Cox. Good afternoon, ma'am, and how are you? Good afternoon, Petra. I'm very well, thank you. And welcome to Antigua. I am absolutely delighted to be in Antigua. This is the first time I've ever been to this beautiful country. Really? And yes, and it's an absolute pleasure. Time. Clearly not, not the last. Certainly <laughs> not the last. I'm now, hoping to come back. Before we get to the most important matter at hand, there are a few questions I have to ask. Very important questions. Have you been to the beaches yet? I have been to the beach. Oh, okay, beautiful. I've right. swum three times already. I only arrived here yesterday at 4 p.m., <laughs> but I've swum three times. I will <laughs> ask you no further questions then <laughs> about Antigua. We will get to the matter at hand. And for my guests, just allow me just to say a little bit about Alison, or you want to introduce yourself. I don't mind. I'd much rather you introduce me. Please. Okay, beautiful. So Alison Cox has developed a number of national and international links with increasing numbers of professional ensembles and organizations, including the UNESCO, sorry, I don't have my glasses, the Nash Ensemble, the Royal Overseas League, the International Federation of Musicians, and many schools, conservatories, and musical organizations overseas. She also collaborates regularly with music, music, musicians sorry, and composers from all over the world. She studied composition at the Royal Northern College of Music with Dr. Anthony Gul Gilbert and in 1979 spent a year in Australia working with young filmmakers. I'm particularly interested mm -hmm. in that. I'll explain why in a minute. Okay, let me just read a little more. Alison has, was invited to organize a special concert at the Buckingham Palace in March 2005 as part of the Queen's Music Day, including outstanding young performers from specialist schools, music schools and conservatories and other establishments in the UK and brilliant musicians from other cultural traditions. In November 2005, as the UK co-director and creator of the, quote, Commonwealth Resounds, unquote, she initiated new projects in Malta and the UK, with musicians from many different countries. Since that time, Alison has managed to run small-scale Commonwealth music festivals in Uganda, Trinidad and Tobago, and Perth with limited financial resources, but massive support and goodwill from volunteers. Right? Currently, let me go down, Alison was awarded a distinction in 2010, in the 2010 National Teaching Awards. In 2011, she was appointed as the community champion by the Royal Society of Arts. And in June 2012, she was awarded an, Q, an OBE, OBE mm -hmm. right? 
in the Queen's birthday honours for services to the community in the UK and overseas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I read was a snippet of her extensive portfolio and I focused in on the youth areas in particular because I think this initiative that we're about to discuss today deals with that. So, Alison, if you could give us an overview before we 